This is Lee Sterling of ParamountSports.com, and I'm going to talk to you about a game I don't think anyone expected would have national championship implications. It's a game between Georgia at home, ranked number two in the country and undefeated, against surprisingly undefeated Arkansas, who's knocked off the state of Texas. Texas and Texas A&M. Now, before I break down and predict this game, let me let you know we got cooking at Paramount Sports. Well, we're going to look to keep rolling off a of Baker's Dozen, 13-3 and three run and 11-3 and three last weekend. We have two different options you can get involved with us. First option, not October is coming up. We call it at Paramount Sports, Locktober. You can get five weeks of games through Monday, October 31st, Football, college, and NFL, everything on our phone service. Use coupon code SAVE200, just $397. Or get through the Super Bowl, $997. And if you purchase everything through the Super Bowl, we'll throw in baseball through the World Series. Got still a week left of baseball and the entire playoffs. And the UFC, which were red hot. We won the last three cards, including a 50 unit selection. In the UFC, three in a row there, 42 out of 64 winning cards in the UFC through December 31st, 997 there. So, October's 397 through the Super Bowl, 997, ParamountSports.com. Now, let's move to this game where George is at home and laying a surprising 18 and a half points against Arkansas. So, Georgia has the number one scoring in total defense. I don't think anyone will try to put this defense down. They're big, strong, fast, physical. They're tough to run or pass against. But some teams are eventually going to move the ball and score on them. And Arkansas might be a team that can have some success here. So they have a quarterback, K.J. Jefferson, took over for Felipe Franks from last year. Felipe Franks might be a better pro prospect. I think he's on uh, someone's you know, practice squad. But Jefferson, more mobile, and a better fit for the Kendall Bryles offense. Dual threat guy. Their defensive coordinator, Barry Odom. Some people kind of overlooked the hire. Last year they weren't very good, but they returned 10 starters from last year. And I think he's really integrated these guys. And they also found three good defensive linemen in the transfer portal. So you have a good defensive line, they're going to be able to keep you in game. So much improved on defense. In fact, they were all over Zach Calzada last week for Texas A&M. Three sacks and nine quarterback hurries. And now they're going to face JT Daniels, who might even be less mobile than Calzada. So might be able to get to him some. They can get him into some third and five or longer situations. And their head coach, Sam Pittman, you got to talk about this guy for maybe head coach of the year. I mean, this was... Possibly when he took over a team that was in worse shape than Vanderbilt. They're winning now. They're undefeated. They're 9-3 and three also against the spread as an underdog. I think Georgia wins something like 35-20, to 20, but maybe 35-24. But I think the Hogs cover here, plus the very generous 18.5 points. You want to come on board, start making money only one way, ParamountSports.com. 